Are you ready for LFA? What's up, brothers? Hope everybody's doing well out there. Wanted to come out here and shoot the shit with you guys for a little while and talk about shit tests. This is the kind of video where I crack a beer open and just, like I said, sit back and shoot the shit with you guys. I don't drink much beer anymore. But I'm going to make it a point to crack open one beer with you guys for a good conversation. And tonight I'm getting Uncle Rico vibes. I got the bright light shining on me. You know what I'm saying? Reminds me of high school football. I used to make plays. <laughs> I'm just fucking around. I'm not going to be that corny tonight, but I do want to talk about shit tests. Because there's a lot of people in the manosphere and, you know, dating coaches, pickup artists, and I'm talking male dating coaches, female dating coaches, you know, they like to talk about shit tests and they paint them out to be this big complex issue. You know, they paint it out to be a method that women use to disqualify men, right? That's not how I view shit tests. So what is a shit test? You know, I've seen, from my experience, three different versions of shit tests from women. Now, shit test number one is to determine whether you're actually interested in her or not. So a woman may flirt with another man in front of you to see if she can get a reaction out of you See if she can make you jealous. Now, that would be a version of a shit test. Now, again, if I'm being shit tested in this situation, I'm not worried about passing or failing. It makes no difference to me. Now, shit test number two would be to test your neediness. You know, a woman might pull away or pretend like she's not interested in you when she really is. Now all she's trying to do is find out if you're emotionally strong or you're emotionally weak. Now, as men that have things going on in our lives, which is what I recommend that you be, if a woman pulls away, damn it, that is a fucking reward, okay? Okay. If she pulls away, I'm going to try to figure out what I did to make her pull away. And I'm going to keep doing it. <laughs> Every time I want some space. You know, so... Any man that's failing that sort of a shit test clearly has his priorities messed up. And all you need is a chat like this to set you straight. So if a woman's pulling away and acting uninterested in you, well, it's okay to holler at you, holler at her when you need her, you know. But give her some space, let her do her thing, you know. Ain't that big of a deal. Gives you time to chill with the boys, kick back a couple of beers, have a good time. Know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean. All right. Now, shit test number three is an attack at your ego, right? A woman might attack your ego by, uh, you know, maybe you drive a big truck. She might say something like, why you drive such a big truck? Overcompensating for something that's a little bit small. Now, a shit test like this is uh, only going to work on a guy who is very fragile and very insecure. So, again, that's a shit test that should be very easy to pass as well. I'd probably tell her to hop her fat ass in the back of that truck and let her find out for herself, but you, know, you can tell her whatever you want to tell her. 
Again, not a very difficult test to pass. But my view on shit tests is that if a woman isn't equipped to shit test me, I don't want anything to do with her. You know, I want a woman that really knows how to shit test a man. I want a woman that really knows how to pull away and act uninterested. I want to know a woman that really knows how to maybe make me jealous a little bit. If she doesn't know how to do that, the relationship probably isn't worth it. You know. I don't want it if it's too easy. You know, a woman should be a little bit of a challenge. Unfortunately, not very many of them are. Right? So for me personally, if a woman's not willing to shit test me, what she's showing me is that she's too damn easy. And what's going to happen is I'm going to smash a couple of times and I'm going to throw her out to the streets. You know, a woman that doesn't know how to shit test a man is for the streets. But a woman that can put up a challenge, you know, and make me almost think I have to work for it, you know, make me think maybe this girl doesn't even like me. You know, a woman that's capable of doing that, that's a woman that's worthwhile. That's why shit tests are a good thing. You know, if a woman isn't able to shit test you, why would you date her? She doesn't even know how to shit test. She has no vetting process. No way to filter out if a dude is worth it or not. That means she's for everybody because everybody's going to get a piece. You know, it's time to uh, stop viewing shit tests as the big bad wolf, you know. They're actually a good thing. And they don't work in a negative manner on real men. You know, there's no way an alpha male is going to fail one of those shit tests. It's just not going to happen. You know, to be honest, the level of game that is out there just on the freaking internet, on YouTube nowadays, is so advanced, I don't understand how any man could struggle with women. Now, I know a lot of you guys try to get in the looks conversation. You say it's all about looks. Well... Look, man, if you're so ugly that you can't get a girlfriend, it ain't my problem, you know. I'm making content for guys that can get girlfriends, you know. But if you, if you aren't past that threshold, it's not my responsibility. You know, it doesn't make me a scam artist or a coper just because you're not at that threshold. Now, I think most guys can get to that threshold just by working out, taking good care of yourself. You know, it's not that hard to do. But if for whatever reason you're not able to do it, I'm not here to bully you. I'm not here to black pill you. But I'm also not here to take responsibility for you. You know, that's your deal. So all of you guys that want to make those sad comments about it's all about looks. Women only want the top 20% of men. Look, I've never claimed to be in the top 20% of men. I don't even know what the fuck that means. But women are easier than ever nowadays. They're just giving it up to any man that wants it. And this video is about shit tests. And a woman that knows how to shit test a man is a woman that knows how to filter out the weak men. So if you're a guy that's struggling with shit tests, what's that say about you? And I don't say that in a disparaging way. I'm not trying to put you down at all. I'm trying to give it to you straight so you can learn and you can improve. But anytime you have a negative outlook on something, when you view something as a negative 
as something that is trying to disqualify you, to take you out, your results aren't going to be very good when you're faring against this action. So what you're going to want to do is reevaluate the shit test. Understand the shit test. And understand that it's a good thing. Oh, oh. You want to uh, talk to another man and try to make me jealous. Well, I ain't jealous. But you're skating on thin ice here. You might get dumped and he might get his ass kicked. You know, that's what we're working with here. But I'm going to play it cool right now. <laughs> Don't push it too far. Don't push my buttons, but we'll play it cool now. Oh, you want to pull away and act like you don't like me? Well, good, good, good. Because if you would have gave it up to me right away, I'd have been done. I'd have never even, I'd have smashed and dashed. You'd be for the streets. Another heart broken. <laughs> if you try to attack my ego, I kind of like that, you know. I kind of like that. I like a woman that's able to... Uh, have the confidence to talk to a man, you know, to be around men and speak to men with confidence, you know. So I kind of like that too. So if a woman challenges my ego or takes shots at my ego, it might, uh, I'll take it as flirting. It might make me smile. So that's how you should view shit tests as a man if you want to pass them every time. But of course, if you're a male, not a man, just a male, you'll probably end up failing. But hey guys, that's about all we have on that subject. It is nice shooting this shit with you guys, and I'll be back once again to shoot the shit with you guys, as always. Hope this video was somewhat informative. That's about it for tonight, guys. Until next time, see ya.